What are you looking for? Looking for something raw, untouched. How many we got? Four. Two of them chipped with tin bit shit. But they'll sell in Watson. Raw's all you get with me. What's your edge? I want something that'll lure me. Really scrap of them, you rods. You've got it all, man. Bare knuckle boxing, shootout, black ops interrogations, amputations. Need to find a single buyer for her. Score big on that Primas Chrome she's got. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. I want to know what it's like to, to kill somebody. See? Wasn't so hard. So, got some classics from the last Corp War, or armed robbery if you're looking for something fresher. 1991, the first artificial muscle fibers were developed at Stanford Research Center in Menlo Park, California. In 1993, the first neurobiological interface chips are developed in Munich, West Germany. Today, cyber technology can be purchased almost anywhere. Not a bad looking clinic you got here. Some of the medical procedures are simple, walk-in types of surgery with minor installations taking place in shopping mall clinics or booths. Much like you'd find getting your ears pierced at the mall back in the old days. I'm thinking about getting some new chrome. Then I think you'll come to the right place. What can't be bought in the open are the types of cyberware known as black market cybertech. These items can only be purchased through criminal contacts on the street and installed by high-priced underground med techs known as Ripper Docs. Wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. Ripper Docs, who do not follow the medical codes and procedures of the malls, clinics, or hospitals. These girls know you're chipping faulty implants? You might say so. Codes and procedures that prevent circumstances leading to complications or additional pain, or both. I'd say they're the very best I can find. Bottom line? Black market cybertech is often dangerous, badly installed, and always expensive. But we're all big kids here. And besides, you know what to do with a Ripper Doc who messes with you, right? Implants are the useful little things you get plugged in to make your life easier. Things that you can't replace from a body bank or that you may want for a specific job. These could be anything they're churning out for the oh-so-coveted Razor's Edge lifestyle. Gill implants, nasal filters, an independent air supply. The list goes on. And then there's fashion wear. Fashion wear is generally innocuous and easy to install, designed for casual convenience or merely for looks, to catch the eye of all passers-by. But be careful not to shine too brightly, because in this city you might catch the eye of some more nefarious individuals. Scavengers hold the highest body count title in Night City. They are ruthless, low-life scum who prey on the unwary, citizens and gangoons alike. They emerged as a side effect of the mass availability of implants and cyberware. Harvesting cyberware and organs is a nasty but profitable business, and scavengers fill this niche by assaulting their victims right here in the streets. They are absolutely brutal, with zero regard to human life. To a scab, you are nothing but a walking shelf of product waiting to be sold on the black market. Over in Westbrook on Jig Jig Street, there's a pachinko parlor run by a fixer named Wakako Wakata. Well, well, who do I spy but V in my humble parlor, no less. Rumors abound, but as of yet, nobody's worked up the nerve to ask her about her past and her very many, very dead husbands. My husband's new Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the tiger claws. Rude Japan town. They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex and black market tech. She didn't kill any of them, probably. All went before that time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow, for my nine sons. What's important is that they're gone and she's still going strong, growing richer and more powerful by the day. Meeting with Wakako was like getting into a cage with a lioness. Oh sure, this lioness is polite, 
but you can tell she's already thinking about her next snack. I don't forget such things, V. Anyway, the lioness got us a gig. Fixer got an SOS call from one of her clients, Sandra Dorset, a corporate net runner who went missing a few days ago after her locator implant went dark. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. All signs point to her having been plucked up off the street by scavengers. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Hopefully we can get to her before they carve her up and ship her out. I think it's time we pay them a visit. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Yeah. Let's do this. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Calm the hell down, both of you. Almost there. Yeah, Bug. You focus. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers crossed oh, it's not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. V, Mira, eyes up. The nails I hid. Drop it quiet, V. Baby steps, V. Enemies watching. Bodies ain't coming, they're almost on you. These fucking creepers. Why you be? They're coming. Wait for your chance. Pick the prick off. Need to find a single buyer for her. It's called people. The last grope she's got. Cabrones. Take us locus. Let's wait and plant a spray. Take one down. Sensors. Looks like you got him. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. This does not look good.
Sandra Dorset, NC5-70442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomod, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomod. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. We're moving now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greeting, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck! She's flatlining! V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo! Fuck, this is bad! Engage, Vato! I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabron. Get her outside. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. to control. Patient NC570442 secured. Stimulus being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 fibrinogen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? V, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, give it right away. You did quite well. You and that friend of yours. 